one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs of course there's guitar in it so that's probably one of the reasons I like it um, was on his bad album and I knew it as Steve Stevens playing guitar Steve Stevens of course is an amazing guitarist um, but looking at Wikipedia if it's to be believed there's actually three guitarists on it and Steve Stevens only did the solo so I might make an assumption that the guitar parts we're looking at today he didn't actually play at all the other two guitarists were Paul Jackson Jr., amazing, and David Williams, who's done a lot with Michael Jackson. So uh, I don't know which one did which, but the two guitar parts we're going to look at. It's in the key of uh, G minor. Um, I had to tune up about 10 cents to sort of get it get it spot on. But um, anyway, be wary of that if you want to play uh, along with it. All right, let's start with the intro and verse riff. Okay, so the chords themselves, it's a natural minor chord six type of idea. So G minor in the key of E flat major, that's the relative major. And the bass is just doing a G uh, down to an E flat F back up to the G. That's why originally I thought this was tuned down half step, but the guitar never actually hits the bottom E, so you can just play in the standard tuning in the key of uh, G minor. So the first chord you're thinking of G minor seven, but then when they do that E flat, on top, whoever's doing the rhythm guitar is doing a B flat five. And then move up to a C five. Now that gives you the sound of a, you can't kind of play it all down here, but um, it gives you that sort of sound. I'm up the octave, so it doesn't kind of sound fully right. But anyway, interesting. It's a little simple little guitar part, but the chords themselves are, are, are really uh, interesting there. Okay, so uh, we're going to be on the third fret. I'm going to play it, and then we'll uh, then we'll have a look. <laughs> So I've got a broadly a clean sound, just a little bit of grit, and I've got some delay, sort of a slap delay with a just a little bit of feedback on it. Kind of sounds similar to what they've got on there. Okay, so the first chord you think in G minor seven, hitting the bass note, and then uh, the two. I'm going to put some tab in front, front of my face up here, uh, and then you're hitting the the top of that G minor seven. Now there's a lot of things that I didn't put in the tab. Um, those kind of mutes, so. Just the bass line there. And then at the B flat to C5. Again, that gives you an add nine or a sus two flavor of the E flat chord and the F chord that the bass is outlining anyway. Then you've got to slide up from the F to the G. That's kind of the tricky part of it, I suppose. It's the same part, so it's a very composed part uh, throughout the whole thing, but you just gotta watch when you're doing the slides and when, you do, when you're hitting the top of that G minor seven versus the bass note. I'll do it again slowly. And again, I add those mutes in just for a little bit of feel every now and then. That um, That's the whole intro and verse. The last time as I lead into the chorus, um, he holds off and then comes in on the D5, which is a five chord, going back to sort of G minor for the chorus. All right, let's look at the chorus. All right, the chorus, nice and distorted. I've got a lot on here, a lot of bass as well. But don't forget, we're not playing chords anywhere here. There's single note lines, so I think you can bring out some of that kind of fatness. That might be too much for chord to work, but it works well on single lines. As I said, we're in G minor. G minor pentatonic is what you're thinking. And it's really focusing on the A, D, and uh, G string. So sliding up fifth fret on the A. Now what feels really funny, and I had to purposely not do it, is no vibrato and don't bend. That's a super bluesy thing to do, right? So I would ordinarily do. 
no, but no, no vibrato, no bend. Okay, it's nice and straight because you don't want to get in the way of you know the keys and the vocal and everything. <laughs> Third time, different rhythm. Fourth time, the same. And then you're bending up, uh, up the octave pentatonic, 15 and 18 on the B string. And that's it, they're the two guitar parts. Again, don't know who played it. I assume it was D Paul Jackson Jr. and David Williams doing those two guitar parts, but it's a, it's a great song. Dirty Diana from Michael Jackson. See you next time.